I'm Ketsy. Welcome to my channel, Candid Crafter. As in life, there are some things we're really good at and other things we're not so good at. And personally, when I encounter the things I'm not so good at, I tend to avoid them. And honestly, that's not the right approach. So today I decided to try and improve one of my worst skills, which is drawing faces. And the way I went about this is following YouTube tutorials. So if you want to see how I get on, sit back, relax, and let the crafting begin. All right, so as I mentioned, one of the things that I am not the best at that I want to get better at is drawing faces. Uh, not just regular realistic faces, but even cartoon faces. I can't do it. They're disproportionate. The nose is too big. The eyes are too big. Yada, yada, yada. So I thought today it'd be kind of interesting to Google or YouTube different YouTube artists tutorials on how to draw faces and compare it to which one I think might help me. Now, I'm not going to steal anyone's style, but I know that some YouTubers out there put out general guidelines and bases on how to draw faces. To start, I think what I'm going to do is draw a face without any instructions or a guideline and see what I come up with. Um, disclaimer, uh, I'm really bad at this, so I don't want any comments <laughs> saying that it looks terrible because I already know. So I just have these little squares of paper. Um, I should have one more. Where'd you go? Oh, right here. So I have four. So I'm going to look at three videos and then this one I'm going to do my own. So I'm going to start in try to draw a face so i think for my personal guideline i'm going to start with the circle i do know a lot of people use circles to help them i couldn't find any circles in my room besides washi tape so uh that's what i'm using so just going to trace that all right so i got my circle and from here i don't know what to do I know depending on if you want to draw like anime or realistic, your proportions and how you go about it from this circle really, really matter. But uh, I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm just, I'm going to wing it. I was using I think it has thicker lead than the average pencil and it was just kind of hard to draw the details for someone who already is <laughs> riding the struggle bus so um, I'm going to use this pencil now and see if it turns out any better we'll see I'm not entirely sure maybe I just did this to make myself feel better maybe it'll help we'll find out These are puff balls, if you couldn't tell. Here we have my version of a face without any um, any guidelines. To say it's rough is an understatement, but I mean, I tried. All right, so the first video I'm gonna watch is how to draw face, basic proportion by a channel called Lazy Arts. Um, I chose this video because it looks really basic and it's pretty quick, it's only 10 minutes. And they measured from here did this. How am I supposed to mark that? I guess I'll use my right hand. All 
Or maybe I should have used my right hand to do the measuring. Wow, okay. I'm a little skeptical because they have the nose really close to the mouth. Wait a minute, how am I critiquing them when they have a tutorial on this and my face came out looking like this? So I'm I'm gonna renege what I said. I'm not skeptical. This is gonna help me. It's gonna help. Alright, so for the eye portion, this person made a lot of lines. And I feel like maybe my lines are a bit too dark because I'm one step away from being confused. So I'm just gonna try to lighten this up. You know, I probably should use a kneaded eraser. Is it just me or is, it, is anyone else afraid of their kneaded erasers drying up? So my other kneaded eraser that was already open, I keep it in like the ittiest, bittiest little plastic bag. I don't know what happened to it, but I just feel like if I leave it out, it's gonna dry out. Alright. smaller than what I just erased. So this is what it turned out like. The tutorial didn't show how to like fill in the eyes. Um, I would say it's a definite improvement from this. Um, the one thing I did not like about that tutorial though is just so many lines. It was it got confusing a little bit. So I think for the next one, I'm gonna try to find the tutorial with more simple. <laughs> guidelines by the way all i typed into youtube was how to draw a face now i'm scrolling and i see one by a youtube channel called papers art pipas i'm not sure how you pronounce it but this face looks more kind of cartoony so i'm going to give that a try all right so she started with a circle and she freehanded but again i need help so there's my circle, and I drew it off to the center because I think she's going to draw faces from different angles, and not just front facing, so I might try out the other ones. She's going so fast. I'm not sure what I'm doing. All right, um... are uneven I'm not sure how to fix that I guess it looks like this one's more upturned that did nothing <laughs> too 
low but I like how that nose looks so I'm just gonna bring the jawline down <laughs> I definitely say that was that looks a lot better it doesn't look like it came from me um, it did improve my proportions I think the eyes I still need work on proportioning eyes because those are entirely too big for the face this one did give me some basic knowledge on how to proportion it was just really confusing it might just be me though um, so I think I'm going to look at one last tutorial and we'll see what happens. So the third video I chose was how to draw faces, eyes, nose, mouth tutorial by Zyra Banez, I believe is the way you pronounce her channel. And by the way, I'll have all three of the videos I'm referencing linked below just in case you guys want to see how um, these were supposed to turn out versus how they did turn out, or if you just want to practice drawing faces yourself. Alright, so this is the first time I've ever seen someone use a circle and an inverted triangle, so I'm interested to see if maybe this is the technique that will help me be able to draw faces better. Okay, I did that completely wrong. <laughs> So I'm going to flip it over and start over. finished all four drawings so here's the first drawing I did where I based it off of my own personal knowledge it looks rudimentary um, I give myself a for effort though I'm not missing any facial features the nose isn't too bad um, so then the next one I drew was this one this one looks more textbook I think I did a lot better with proportions on this one than I did with any of the other ones, maybe. Um, I think the thing that I can take away from the video that I watched for this one is that for me personally, too many lines is going to confuse me. So I need to come up with my own shortcut and my own system on how I'm going to draw faces. That'll make sense to me. So then after that one was this one. So... What I like about this artist is her shading. Um, I like the way she does noses. The triangle, the circle, and then the triangle was really, really helpful. Other than that, um, the eyes, I made them way too big. But I really do, I think I'm going to implement drawing noses from a circle and a triangle because that made it a lot easier. And then shading, of course shading better than this. Blending and everything. And this is the last one I drew. So... I'm not sure which one looks the best, but I do think that this one 
might be the most proportionate after the first video one. I also think these are the best eyelashes I've ever drawn in my entire life. And like, I have maybe drawn eyelashes like three times. So that's saying something. But I think they're pretty good. So what this little experiment has taught me is I have a long way to go in terms of drawing faces. But by practicing for just this little amount of time, I've improved. And that's proof that if you practice, you can get better at anything. Practice makes perfect. All right, so let me know down in the comments below which one you think is the best. One, two, three, or four. And if you have any tips, leave them below. Just be nice in the comments. All right, so it's been a few days. And hey, y'all, look at this. Ta-da! I think I have improved, like, maybe by 100%. This looks so much better. Mind you, I went from this to this. And it looks a lot better. So, I think we can conclude that those videos did really help me. And I use techniques from all three videos. So, this is the face that I've made up in my mind that I've been trying to draw. And these two, I googled images of faces and just tried to draw um, random people using reference photos. I think this one turned out more like the person than this one, but I think both of them are a step up from this <laughs> so so I think what I'm gonna do is practice drawing a couple of faces a day and see how far I can progress um, you can never stop learning so that's all for today's video I hope you guys really really enjoyed don't forget to comment down below which one you think is the best or any tips you have um, be sure to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video bye be sure to check out my last video, and as always, you never have to be the best, just try your best. Bye! Dang, this is good.